Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Bikes Mod for Rocket League. Uh, Bikes Mod is really helpful to improve your game in Rocket League, especially if you're a beginner. So I'm going to show you how to install it. It's for free. And yeah, don't mind the lo-fi music. Shit's slutty. Alright, so what you want to do is look up Bikes Mod. I already got it, but I'm going to show you the process of how to install it and all that good stuff. Oh, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm not even playing the lo-fi music. So yeah, here goes. It seems kind of sketchy. Whatever. Uh, I would recommend for every every tutorial I do to download off of third party website, I would recommend you to uh, use Oprah or Google for ad blocker. Like my last video, make sure you have a uh, ad blocker for both of those sites, Steam Unlocked and Agfi, so you don't get nothing basically. But um, yeah. So basically, by case mod Rocket League Trainer, it, it just it just you can't get banned for this. It's absolutely free and it's pretty cool. So let's download it. We're gonna download it. Uh, click here to download. Alright, so now it's gonna download. What you wanna do is open the uh, Bakke's mod uh, uh, setup zip file, whatever. You must have WinRAR or some sort of ex extractor. Then you wanna uh, open up the setup and it says this will install Bakke's mod. Do you wish to continue? You click yes. Now it's gonna, I don't believe y'all can see, but it says Bakke's mod setup.exe. It says, do you want to allow this app from any unknown publisher to make changes to your, to your device? You're gonna say yes, it's not a it's not a virus or anything. To, ke to continue this installer will close any open instances of Rocket League and Bakke's mod. Meaning if you have Rocket League open, it's gonna close it. So basically it can do its thing. And then it's gonna ask you if you wanna create a, sh a desktop shortcut and you will do that. Oh, damn, my voice is fucking up. Uh, you gonna click install to install it. Bakke's mod is now installed. If you have running into any issues, you made to whitelist it in, in your antivirus. Meaning, if you have any issues, you might have to basically whitelist it. Let's say you have malware bytes, you can whitelist it so malware bytes doesn't like touch it or do anything and like delete it. You want to view the documentation now. Uh, launch Bakke's mod. All right, so after that, you can basically close all this. Now, it says uninject the waiting for a uh, user to start Rocket League. So at this point, see how I have Bakke's mod right here. Let's say you load up your computer or whatever, and you don't have it on startup. You click on Bakke's mod before you launch the game, because if you don't, it won't work. So it says uninject the waiting for user to start Rocket League. So now all you got to do is minimize that. It'll run in the background. You minimize it. Now you open Rocket League. Now we'll just wait here, because I don't feel like editing. Um... It shouldn't take that long to open, but uh, follow my Twitch, follow my YouTube. I mean, follow, subscribe to my YouTube, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If this video help you out. Let me know any other videos I want me to make, and I'll gladly do it. Uh, four more. I think I'm four more subscribers away from 100. I really want to hit it. I don't know why people aren't, aren't unsubscribing. Dudes are weird like that. So you got Psionics. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn the music down because y'all won't be able to hear me. Uh, all right. So basically, when you have this here, you want to play. You want to press uh, F2. Then you have this. Let me make sure it's actually showing it. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. Um. So you got quick settings, items, current game, free play. Hold on. Is it not showing? All right. Anyways. Hopefully this just shows. If not, I'll just make another video. So you got, basically, you got a lot of good things here. You got this, air dribble mode, normal mode. I don't touch this at all. Um, this is where, uh, if you have this, if, you shouldn't have this on when you first install it. But if you do turn it off, so basically you can go to free play and not score. Basically, how way free play should play. You don't, not scoring. Um, custom training got all this good stuff right here. Um, yeah, you have a gold block editor, basically, basically meaning you can make the, Goal technically smaller, like the ball won't go in unless you hit it in that certain area. I don't touch this, but I do touch this. So show MMR, uh, uh, show play MMR on scoreboard. That's I do use that. Use uh, point of view goal replays automatically say GG. I use all that. You could use April Fools ranked icons. I never touched that before, but all these stuff, all these things just help you get better at Rocket League. Um, so yeah, that's how you install it. That's really that's really it to it. That's really it. Um, Point of view goal should be already been in Rocket League, but it's not. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And um, follow me on Twitch. Uh, we're going on Twitch. Um, link to the descriptions. All my links will be in the description. 
Um, my clan socials will be in the description below. And yeah, I'll, I'll appreciate y'all for watching. And see y'all later, man. Have a nice day.